Hi friends, Tracy here from The Sewing Channel. Welcome back, and if you're new here, welcome. There will be two auctions today. The auction goes live for seven days, right after the first airing of this video. Tooth extractor or vintage sewing treasure, you decide. Enough talking already. Let's get busy thrifting some sewing treasures or sewing trash. I don't know. The first thing to catch my eye today was this green tool made by Cricut. Now I'm not real familiar with it, but here they wanted $2.99 and online it said $24.99. It seems to be some type of a trimmer tool. Let me know down in the comments if you use Cricut. Now I almost popped for this heat and bond light for $1.99. There were a bunch of rolls in it, but it honestly looked like they could have been old and dry rotted, so I left it behind. The next item I found was some white fabric paint. This right here looked like a bookmark uh, craft project. And this here was some more scrapbooking stuff. First item up for auction is this vintage Dritz Sew Straight tool. Now I'm not familiar with it and it's still sealed in the package so I can't even play with it. But I'll leave that up to the new owner to learn how to use it. Anybody for some crepe wool hair? Hmm. You just absolutely never know what you're going to find. It seems to me that more people are coming to, out to the Goodwill these days because it seemed like a lot of this stuff was picked over. Now up here, there was some more doll parts and pieces. Um, there's some raffia ribbon there, I think it was, and just some tchotchkes. And oh, here, look at this. There were quite a few of the stampers in the craft section here at my Goodwill. Now, granted, they were picked through very heavily since that very first time that I aired that first video with all the stamps in it. So um, I didn't end up picking any of those up for the auction because it just didn't seem they were that quality. Here's a book on geometric designs and patterns. That was kind of cool. Here, this next book was really sweet by Peter Rabbit. It was Iron Trance furs, you know, and I almost popped on it, but I just don't need another book to sit on my shelf at home, so I opted to put it back. I seem to find a lot of these stencil kits. Up next, auction alert number two. It is a quick tack pattern marker, and online they retail for about $13 used. This next item seems to be from Stamp It Up, and it was a bunch of kits. Now, it seemed to be there were only two different types of kits in here. It was this one right here, and then I believe there was like the hexagon shape. So it was just a lot of the same for $1.99 each. So I'm not real sure what they even are. Maybe some of you may know, I don't know. Here's the American Girl doll brand. It seemed to be a pom-pom kit for a scarf to make for your doll. When my older girls were younger, they absolutely adored the American Girl doll. This item here seemed to be a yarn animal kit for younger children. A great way to get them started when they're little, right? <laughs> here was a wooden thread spool holder. I should have probably popped on this next item for $5.99. It was a pretty full bag of vintage different laces. Oh, I should have got it. Remember that bin full of buttons right there from last week when I found those beautiful nautical brass buttons? This next item I did pop on for only 99 cents and regular online they want $6.99. A lot of people do use boning in their mask making. Here was a bag of different elastics. I thought on that for a second, but I didn't really need any, so I ended up throwing that back. Now, my Goodwill has been consolidating a bunch of odd items in bags together, and I don't quite like that because I can't tell really what is what and if I'm missing something inside the bag. Here's some Longaberger ceramic tags. I believe it was a menorah on the front, some kind of a candle thing. And here were some pom-poms in a bag for $1.99. Here's a bag of felt for sale. 
and let's see another odd bag just full of different things I'm not even sure I couldn't even tell you what was in those bags here was a big bag of hats they were all wicker if you do any crafting like that that was kind of weird to find them all together like that but here was a rooster I thought that was really kind of cute Here were some darling little wooden heart clips. I thought those were really cute for crafters. Um, this next item were those plastic letters. I don't have a big board to put them on. Otherwise, if I did, I probably would have popped on those. It was a whole bag. Now this next item, I need help on figuring out what you all use these for. Now they're plastic type grids and they had them packaged together. They were like $3.99 for a whole pack of like six of them. The ribbon section here in the craft section is usually pretty full. I mean, there's just a lot of new and used ribbon throughout. I mean, it's a really great deal if the ribbon, you need it. They range anywhere from 99 cents to $1.99. And then here again, we have our bags of yarn and this little bag was a dollar ninety nine and I'm just still not so sure that that's a really great deal when we used to get big huge bags for five ninety nine here I'll back up the camera so you can see the full craft section here at the goodwill and it's not as full as it was last week. I'm not sure if you can tell or not from that shot. Here's some graph paper for 99 cents, regularly online from Office Max. It's $2.49, so I popped on that. This next box craft kit seemed to be a stepping stone project for a young child or an adult, really. Now, remember in one of my past videos when we had a debate down in the comments on whether or not I found macrame yarn in a uh, bag? that was consolidated in my Goodwill. Now this one actually says that it is twisted macrame cord. So here you go, this is the real thing for sure, we know it. For only $2.99, I think it's a great find for someone that's looking for this. This package here was brand new with a lot of really pretty scrapbooking type items in it for $2.99. In my back room today of the Goodwill, there was an aristocrat vintage sewing machine. This is the second one this year that I've seen in here. Now, I've never seen this type of brand before until this year, and this is the second one I found. Now, the hand wheel was really smooth. I was really shocked that it was. The needle w went up and down nice and smooth, but I don't need one, so I left it, and I forgot to even look for a price, I'm sorry. This next item was really cute and it was made from Home Depot rulers and I'm sure you all have seen them before. And it was just really cute for $1.99. It had little cubbies in it, but I left it behind. Here sitting on the bottom corner of this shelf was someone's macrame baby project of some sort. I really couldn't tell if it was a purse or I don't know what it was really. It had like a closing mechanism to it, so I'm not, I just don't know what that was. <laughs> so here we have some sand art with some little bottles in there. I believe the kit was all in there too for $4.99. And then here were just some puzzles off to the right. Now this, this one right here I thought was really something cute, but I didn't get it. It just had a lot of nostalgic type items on it and you know I don't know I thought it was cute here's a strategio that was vintage and then a vintage clue this final item here that I found was called grandma's gallery and it was a quilt hanging type item and it had pockets clear see-through pockets in it where they could put pictures and whatnot I just thought it was really cute and it did look like someone had made it for their wall in their home. Don't forget about the auction. Until next time on the Sewing Channel, take care.